Selling Sunset Season 2 drops on Netflix this Friday, and I've had the pleasure to interview the stars of this hit show to celebrate Season 2. In fact, I'm calling this week Selling Sunset Week, and to kick things off, let's head down to Miami and visit with new mom and real estate agent at the Oppenheim Group, Maya Vander. Maya Vander, star of Selling Sunset. First of all, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us here in the Ozarks about Selling Sunset season two. You look gorgeous. How are you? I'm doing well. You know, it's, I know it's a difficult situation for a lot of people, obviously for all of us. The whole world is suffering, but um, you know, I'm doing well and I'm lucky and thankful that I'm healthy, my family is healthy and that's all I can that's all I can ask. Now, where are you sheltering in place? Are you in California or where are you at? I'm in Miami. So it's not a bad place to, to be sheltering in place. I still walk around the neighborhood. It's not, uh, the weather is nice, it's comfortable. And I'm about to have the baby any day. So even if I want to go somewhere, I can. Baby number two, by the way. Baby number two, baby girl. I have a boy at home and a girl. Okay, so at the end of season one, you know, it's revealed that you are expecting a child. You've already had that child. It's baby Aiden, correct? Baby Aiden is 11 months old. <laughs> oh my goodness, they're going to be close together in age. Exactly. They're going to be Irish twins, right? That's how you yeah. said. <laughs> and I really want to get into season two. I've seen the trailer, but tell me what can viewers expect in season two of Selling Sunset? Yeah, so, you know, we have a new girl. Um, her name is Amanza, and she's great and beautiful and funny. So they're going to meet Amanza. She's Mary's friend. My friend, too, actually, now. But <laughs> she, she came to the office because she knows Mary and Jason. Uh, so we have a new girl. Um, obviously, we still have some, you know, tension between Chriselle and Christine. And it's going to be nice to see how they work things out. And we have a wedding. Oh, there's a wedding in season two. There is a wedding. I'm not going to say who, but there is oh. a wedding. Oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't know that. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> That's exciting, though. <laughs> You're filming a, a reality show. Yeah. Like, it's shot so beautifully. It shows off California so beautifully. You're beautiful women. When you're shooting and it gets awkward or it gets tense, how does that feel in real life when you're shooting that and, and things are getting heated? Is it awkward? Is it uncomfortable? Not for me, because I usually try to stay out of the heat. <laughs> but uh, look, I mean, things happen, right? Um, it, it's a reality show, like you said. So sure, we are in certain situations, but um, if something happened and some things being said, it is what it is. I guess that's what gives the show you know, the drama and the fun things that need, you know, that people like. When it comes to real estate, you know, we're seeing beautiful homes that most people dream of. Like, you know, that's a, a dream to have that mansion. Are we going to see a lot of amazing homes like the $40 million house in season one? Are we going to see a lot of great real estate in season two? Yes. So that was like uh, for, to your other question. So we're obviously going to see more real estate. We're going to see houses. Look, not every episode we're going to close a deal because real estate, you know, we shoot three, four, five months. We're not always closing a, a deal in those three, four months. It takes time. Mm -hmm. You have like upset sellers, you have overpriced listings. Um, the $40 million house, actually, we filmed that one because it's complete. It's beautiful. We're going to see that one. Another like nice, sexy home in the hills and other areas. So we're definitely gonna have some real estate and some challenging stuff that comes with real estate. All right, now, before I let you go, if people loved season one, how would you rank season two of Selling Sunset? I love season two. I mean, season one, you just get to know us. Season two, you already kind of like invest in the character. You already know us. We're gonna see more personal stuff and obviously more real estate. So it's a good combination of both. And I think we have a lot of like, different small nuances uh, nuance with, with the girls. A little bit of drama also, of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course. But I think it's going to show more. I think we're going to see more. I and, always thought uh, too, Maya, you just seem so level-headed 
I, you know, I was texting you the other day and I said, you're just I'm like the boring of, one. <laughs> no, you're not boring. You're the voice of reason. Like you're very level headed. And I appreciate that because you need that balance in a reality show. Look, you know, I get along with all the girls and I like them all. And um, I do try to stay away from any unnecessary fight or drama. It's probably not as uh, fun for people to watch. Obviously, people love, you know, Christine, because she's all extreme and I love it. I love it about her, too. But yes, we all have different personality. And I guess, you know, like I told you before, if I was shooting this, the show six, seven years ago and I was single and you know, more of a party girl. Uh, you probably see a little bit different of me. Well, I'm so happy for you. You know, thank you for being so kind last year when I met you at the Real TV Critics' Choice Award. You were so lovely. So I want to wish you the best of luck with baby number two. And please thank give you. Aiden a big hug and kiss from me. He is so cute. He's nappy now, so he's cute because he's quiet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. thank, thank you, you so, so much, so Maya. I appreciate it. Stay safe. You're awesome. Yes, you stay safe. <laughs> All right. Ciao.